There seems to be a lot of confusion about vertical and horizontal polarization. Most people tend to think that when the feed horn is sitting like this with the LNB pointing straight up into the air, that that should be vertical. This is actually not so. Uh, and we will show you exactly how that is. Well, this is a mock-up of, of some of the feet, the feet horn, the OMT actually, and uh, this is an LNB. Now, if we take the LNB and put on as it's supposed to go on there, and we then look inside the LNB, and if we can get a little light, that would be great. Then we can see the gold thing or the brass colored thing in there. That's the antenna that receives, in this case, the KU band signal. And as you can see, that small antenna in there is pointing straight up. So, if we go back to the original setting, with people believing that this is vertical, then you can actually see that if the LNB is supposed to go on like this, then you can see that the antenna inside is horizontal. So that's actually the explanation of why this is not vertical. This is horizontal. Now, this is then vertical. Before installing the link or before pointing the antenna, you should have received papers from our help disk explaining whether you are on horizontal or vertical polarization. Um, in this example, we will use vertical polarization because that's actually what would be correct for, for this side. So we have made a baseline adjustment, if you want, uh, where we have put this into to vertical. And when we look at, at the paper made by dishpointer.com, we can see that we have an LNB skew of 3.7 degrees and that we should point that clockwise or we should turn the feed horn clockwise. This is seen from standing behind the dish. Clockwise turn from behind the dish. We are now sitting in front of the dish, so we can actually just turn it the opposite way around. So we have 3.7 degrees, so we adjust to 3.7 degrees, which is, it's not a lot. Right here, that's, that's dead on, and then we adjust approximately to there. So that means that it will look something like this. It could have been much more, it could have been like 20 degrees LNB skew, then it, we would have taken it from 90 to 70 degrees, and then we would have made a, an adjustment of the LNB skew. So the important thing to remember here is to know, is it vertical, is it horizontal, and then set it correctly to begin with, and then apply the LNB skew as per the, the calculation made. So before pointing the dish, you should have received a document uh, from our service desk explaining if the service you're about to use will use vertical or horizontal polarization. Um, that means that you would have received a, a document looking like this, where it will actually be di displayed how the uh, feed horn should be turned and uh, how you apply the LNB skew afterwards and so on and so forth. In order to calculate the LNB skew, your angle of elevation and the azimuth angle, you go to dishpointer.com and then you type in lo your location. In this example, we're just using Copenhagen, Denmark, and you will set 7E or 7A. And that will give us that will give us the uh, the angle we are to use for the elevation, the azimuth, and the LNB skew.
Our service desk will normally provide you with a copy of, well, basically a screenshot of uh, dishpointer.com. And uh, there you will get all the information you need. You will get an explanation on horizontal and vertical polarization and how to apply the LMB skew. Uh, if you're standing in front of the dish or behind the dish, whatever, then uh, this will tell you exactly how to, to do this. So between the video, this video here and the documentation you will receive from our service desk, you should be well equipped to do the polarization of the antenna.